welcome to episode two of Seeking Nature Bot Grinder Challenge. I'm gonna be quiet as I'm walking through here. Hopefully, I won't spook anything. It's a little chilly out today, very cloudy, a little bit of wind. Today, I plan on investigating that hole we found on yesterday's flight. I figure I'll start off by flying over there and circling it, just flying around, see if anything pops out, checking it out. And if nothing comes of that, I'll march my butt over there and start poking it with sticks, see what happens. But we are once again seeking nature. Hopefully we'll see something. There's that buck footprint from the beginning of the first video. I'm assuming it's a buck. It's a pretty big print. It's heavy. So it's probably a buck. It could be a doe, but who knows. to the field and I don't see nothing all right we're at the field I don't see anything right now so plan number one is to do a little aerial reconnaissance of the little foxhole or whatever that was so we're gonna strap on a battery fly around it a few times and see if anything pops out let's find some nature Truth be told, I couldn't quite find the hole. It's hard to see with these goggles. And um, I think I found it towards the end of the flight there, but I really couldn't see anything. It was really hard. It rained really bad last night. And um, I don't know, maybe they covered the hole up. <laughs> maybe the rain has messed up the area around it because it looked pretty fresh yesterday. You could see fresh dirt laying right there in front of the hole. So I guess we're gonna walk up to the hole and see what's what. Here we go. I'm gonna walk on this side of the woods because the grass is a little less aggressive. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Whatever's in that hole might not be too happy to see me. I'm really surprised at how hard it was to find the hole again. I thought I had a good idea of where it was. And I flew in the area. I could see little black spots on the ground, but it was really hard to see. Should be getting somewhat close. I feel like it was right around here. I'm not seeing it. Ah, I found it. Definitely some fresh dirt. There's some poop. This is definitely something that's a den. It's a foxhole. He's probably in there. See the poop? A 
Well, this is nature. There's probably a fox in that hole. I'm assuming it's a fox. It's hard to tell. I mean, that's its poop. Is there a fox or a coyote? I don't know if coyote dig holes. And there's poop inside there too. But that's definitely um, poop from a canine carnivore. Now I'd love to see him come out. Hey. It's fresh, that poop's not that old. Pretty sure it's a foxhole. Would explain a lot. If he's in there, he doesn't seem to be wanting to come out, so. That's unfortunate. Hopefully this thing's not rabid. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Look at the grooves in the dirt where he was clawing at it to, oh, to build this hole. Hey. And who knows how far back in there it goes. It, the hole definitely gets smaller the further you go in. It looks like it curves to the right. I mean, he could be out here somewhere watching me right now, but for the most part, these animals are nocturnal, I believe. Well, that's definitely nature. I mean, you can't say that poop is not natural, so. What's in there, still kind of a mystery. My guess is probably a fox. I don't think a coyote would fit in there. It's gotta be a small fox. But where is he? That's the question. <laughs> you in there, buddy? Am I home? I'm not. All right, I don't think he's coming out. He might not even be in there. Could be out gathering his food for the day. Maybe that's just his bathroom, I don't know. So I guess we'll head back over here and see what else we can get into. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just found another one. Look over here. I was just walking away. There's poop in front of this one too. That cannot, there's no way that's a fox. That small. Look at this poop. This is some fresh poop. Oh, I heard a noise and it scared the shit out of me. Hey! That's two foxholes. I don't know what other kind of holes there would be. That's the poop. It's a tiny little hole. I mean, it is tiny. It's like a mole-sized hole. I mean, that hole is like no bigger than this. I don't understand how a fox could fit in there. I've seen foxes in there a little bigger than that. I mean, the other one was pretty small too, but it was bigger than this one. It's like three times the size of this one. This one is literally like the size of maybe a moon pie. You ever seen a moon pie? About that size around. That's crazy. You got one here, you got one over there. They all are marked with their poop. So there could be like an underground tunnel system, I guess. And maybe they, their holes are just small enough for them to get in and it's bigger underneath. But we're gonna, I'm gonna keep looking around here and see what else we can find. This is crazy. This is nature though. I'm not flying my drone to see it, but it's nature still. I'd love for them to come running out of there though. All right, we're gonna look around a little bit more. Then I guess we'll head back and fly. It does smell like, I mean, it smells like poop around here, like dog poop. I could smell it heavily. I mean, there's a cow pasture over there, but this does not smell like cows. It smells like poop. I don't know if this could be coyote dens or not. They just seem a little small. And foxes aren't much smaller than a coyote, but I can't think of any other predator that would leave poop like that and digs holes in the ground. It's gotta be either a fox or a coyote. So, I mean, bobcats don't dig holes. I mean, what other predators are there? That's definitely predator poop. You can see the hairs in it. It's a little canine. 
All right, I th guess we're gonna walk back to the car over here and um, we'll put another one in the air. Fly around a little bit, see if we see anything. Oh, there's a little bit of nature for today. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can fly around those holes a little bit and, if, and see if anything comes out. If not, just gonna cruise around nice and smooth, nice and cinematic-like. All right, here we go. nature that I could see. Um, maybe I'm lucky and I'll see something in post, but I didn't see anything. We may have already seen all the nature we're going to see today. All right, I'll strap on another pack and give her a look-see. Have it for episode two of seeking nature a bot grinder challenge and we didn't have a whole lot of luck today either we did get to investigate that old fox hole which was pretty cool unfortunately no foxes around just their poop saw a couple birds some squirrels earlier but that's pretty much all i've seen 
hopefully on one of these episodes, we're going to get some decent nature, some good, decent flight footage of, you know, some kind of mother nature, some kind of wildlife or birds, deer, anything. I'd be happy with pretty much anything at this point. So my battery's about to die, so I guess we're going to wrap this one up. Tune in for tomorrow's episode, number, number three, number three, for Seeking Nature, a Bot Grinder Challenge. Until then, Cap is out.